Welcome back to Mike Mulligan and his Steam Shovel by Virginia Lee Burton. This is our final day where we're going to focus on the end of the story on your paper. And I am going to have you again focus on very, something very specific at the end of the story. So let's listen to the ending and then I'll tell you what I want you to focus on. So yesterday we ended on Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel just finishing up and all the people cheering hooray for them. So let's continue from there. Suddenly the little boy said, how are you going to get out? That's right, said Mrs. McGillicuddy to Henry B. Swap. How is he going to get his steam shovel out? Henry B. Swap didn't answer, but he smiled in rather a mean way. Then everybody said, how are they going to get out? Hi, Mike Mulligan. How are you going to get your steam shovel out? Mike Mulligan looked around at the four square walls and the four square corners and he said, We've dug so fast and we've dug so well that we've quite forgotten to leave a way out. Nothing like this had ever happened to Mike Mulligan and Marianne before, and they didn't know what to do. Nothing like this had ever happened in Popperville. Everybody started talking at once, and everybody had a different idea, and Everybody thought his idea was the best. They talked and they talked and they argued and they fought till they were worn out. And still, no one knew how to get Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann out of the cellar they had dug. Then Henry B. Swap said, The job isn't finished because Mary Ann isn't out of the cellar, so Mike Mulligan won't get paid. And he smiled again in a rather mean way. Now the little boy, who had been keeping very quiet, had another good idea. He said, why couldn't we leave Marianne in the cellar and build the new town hall above her? Sorry, I lost my place. Let her be the furnace for the new town hall and let Meg Mulligan be the janitor. Then you won't have to buy a new furnace and we could pay Mike Mulligan for digging the cellar in just one day. Why not, said Henry B. Swap and smiled in a way that wasn't quite so mean. Why not, said Mrs. McGillicuddy. Why not, said the town constable. Why not, said all the people. So they found a ladder and climbed down into the cellar and asked Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann. Why not, said Mike Mulligan. So it was decided and everybody was happy. They built the new town hall right over Mike Mulligan and Marianne. It was finished before winter. Every day the little boy goes over to see Mike Mulligan and Marianne and Mrs. McGillicuddy takes him nice hot apple pies. As for Henry B. Swap, he spends most of his time in the cellar of the new town hall listening to the stories that Mike Mulligan has to tell and smiling in a way that isn't mean at all. Now, when you go to Popperville, be sure to go down in the cellar of the new town hall. There they'll be, Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann. Mike in his rocking chair, smoking his pipe, and Marianne beside him warming up the meetings in the new town hall. The end. So today on your ending part of your story, I want you to work, focus on what is the problem and how do they solve it? What is the solution at the end of the story? The end of the story brings this whole problem and solution of its own that wasn't in the rest of the story. So I want you to, on the end, focus on drawing a picture and writing a couple sentences that tells me what the problem is and how they solve the problem. Thanks for working so hard, boys and girls. Submit your work to me on your student portfolio and have a wonderful end of your week. Bye-bye.